Hey, it's Mr. Peterson again, and we're still talking about cells because there's so much about cells to talk about. Anyway, today's cells uh, screencast is about similarities and differences uh, between a variety of cells. Uh, all cells have things that are in common. Uh, they're small, um, you know, uh, red blood cells, 30 uh, uh, skin cells, 30 um, micrometers across, uh, red blood cells maybe 5, 10 micrometers across, down to bacteria which are whew, 2 to 3, uh, really small, small, can't see them with the naked eye very well. All cells are enclosed with a membrane, they're surrounded by a barrier to keep them isolated from the environment. Um, and then all cells are filled with cytoplasm, and cytoplasm is where a lot of the chemistry of cells happens. So here's a picture of a bacterium. Uh, and it's surrounded by a membrane and a cytoplasm and filled with cytoplasm. So that's kind of the stuff in them, the filling in the middle of the cells. We've got two basic kinds of cells, eukaryotic cells and prokaryotic cells. If we look at the words and kind of take them apart, the prefix eu means true. Prefix pro means like pre. So and the word carrion uh, or karyos means kernel like a seed. So the first scientist who looked at these under a microscope uh, thought that looked like a kernel, like uh, the nucleus itself. They thought that was a kernel, looked like a seed. And so the eukaryotic cells are true nucleated cells and the prokaryotic cells, well they're missing a, they're missing a nucleus. They're, they're without that kernel uh, of nucleus in the middle. So here's a typical eukaryotic cell. It uh, has a nucleus that's that dark staining structure on the left hand side. Um, it has a cell membrane, has cytoplasm, uh, and then it has some organelles. Uh, that word organelle uh, comes from the Latin word that means small organs. So with, within this structure, within this cell you're looking at, you can see that there are a variety of structures. There are these orange staining guys. These are mitochondria. These are some centrioles. Here's some other stuff called Golgi bodies, named after Camillo Golgi. He was an Italian cytologist. He loved studying cells. This is endoplasmic reticulum. And we've got a variety of bags of stuff. Those are all surrounded by membranes, um, and we find those in eukaryotic cells. We don't find those in uh, prokaryotic cells. So eukaryotic cells have a nucleus. They have membrane-bound organelles. Okay, here's a prokaryote. Uh, prokaryotic cells, and it's back to that bacteria. So bacteria are prokaryotic. Uh, they have a cell membrane and they have cytoplasm, just like the eukaryotic cells. But you'll notice that there's no nucleus in it. They have an area where the DNA is found, but uh, they don't have a, a membrane-surrounded nucleus, and they don't have those membrane-bound, those membrane-surrounded organelles. So prokaryotic cells don't have a nucleus, and they're uh, they're lacking those membrane-bound uh, organelles. So what are some things that they have in common? Well, all cells, uh, these are all, this is living things. This is, this is kind of the, the, the tree of life, if you will. And it's kind of divided into three different areas. It, again, all living things. Uh, we have prokaryotes, which are bacteria, and archaea. Our archaea are ancient ancient living things we find in places like thermal vents or really salty places like the Great Salt Lake or, or the Dead Sea or halophiles. Uh, and, and then we have eukaryotes and that's you and me and plants and you can see up in the in the diagram up in the diagram here eukaryotes animals funcuses plants uh, um, protozoans uh, these are rhodophidans, those are um, things like uh, seaweeds, uh, flagellates, um, those are euglenas and, and things like that. And so we've got these two major groups of organisms, eukaryotes and prokaryotes, and uh, probably most of our planet is, uh, is in, in mass is probably bacteria and archaea. Those guys are so small, but they're so prevalent because they're everywhere. Okay, so let's review. What do cells have in common? Cytoplasm, cell membrane. 
How prokaryotes similar to eukaryotes? Well, they have cytoplasm and they have uh, cell membrane. How are prokaryotes different? Well, prokaryotes are missing the nucleus. They don't have that membrane-bound organelles. So what if you were to put that into a Venn diagram, like prokaryotes, eukaryotes, and both? You could organize your thoughts that way. A little Venn diagram, a little pro, you, both. So cells have things in common, but there's also a lot of differences uh, between those kinds of cells.